Okay, guys, this is it. The Fed today says no more. We gotta we gotta start lowering rates, and it'll depend on the uh, data as it comes in. But basically, he signaled very strongly, very clearly that this is it. This is the end of the um, rate hikes, and we will start cutting rates from this point on. What does that mean? Like I said, there's a huge push in the market up and sell that top, baby, because buy the news, sell the rumor. Um, that's what I'm doing today. We can take a look around and see also what silver is doing. Look at that nice little spike there. I don't know that any of this will last because I'm reversing kind of everything. Don't chase. That That would be what I would say. I'm not your advisor, but just my experience is don't chase these things. A lot of people are chasing and uh, look what look what's happening now. Uh, the market was up almost, uh, well, look at that. It's going back down. It may end up down today. And that would be fantastic for my position. Right now, all three accounts are up and everything's looking good. So just a little warning to break in this morning. Um, not trying to tell you what to do, but be very careful today. You could see a lot of different things happen, a lot of volatility for sure. But this is the end of an era, says Fed Pal. He wants to start lowering rates. And what that means will depend completely on what he sees uh, coming up. Yeah, so things are flying all over the place. You can see it's headed down. Folks, this is going to be a big shakeout. I think a lot of the smart money sold on this spike, like we mentioned yesterday. And this may be the very top. I don't know, but you can see here's the spike. And then boom, this is the hourly charts. Let's look at look, take a look at the daily. That is a big gravestone candle right there. Let's see if it lasts. I mean, there may be some buying to take it back up here. But very quickly, this market sold off. Anyway, what I wanted to say, the last thing, this is just going to be a short video, is that this starts the recession, right? The only reason they're doing this is because they know a recession is either here or on its way. Um, we are losing jobs. We're bleeding jobs. And this is, uh, you know, because they didn't hit their 2% target yet. Remember, they promised 2% target? Well, it's around 3% right now, and they're saying we got to cut anyway. The only reason they would do that is because all of the data is pointing to the fact that we actually are in a recession right now, and the labor market is bleeding. So prepare yourselves. This is not over by any stretch of the, the imagination. Uh, this is not a declaration of victory by the Fed. This is them acknowledging that they got a problem. A recession is coming, and it's bigger than inflation, at least for now. So anyway, that's my video for today. I'll have more later on this afternoon. I got to get to work.